Hello and welcome to Ancient Asia. Today we are going to witness some of the most beautiful UNESCO sites of incredible India, Atulya Bharat. There are 38 world heritage sites located in India. These include 30 cultural sites, 7 natural sites and 1 mixed site. India has 6th largest number of UNESCO sites in the world. Kumbh Mela, which is organized in every 12 years in different holy places in India, is Prayagraj in Uttar Pradesh, Ujjain in Madhya Pradesh, Haridwar in Uttarakhand, and Nasik in Maharashtra is selected in UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage Lists in 2017. Number 1 Ajanta Caves the Ajanta Caves are Buddhist caves built in two phases. The first was from the reign of Emperor Ashoka. The second, further additions were made during the 5th and 6th centuries AD of the Gupta period. The caves depict richly decorated fresco paintings, reminiscent of the Sigriya paintings and sculptures in Sri Lanka. There are 31 rock-cut cave monuments which are unique representations of the religious arts of Buddhism. Number 2. Ellora Caves The Ellora Caves, also known as the Ellora Complex, are a cultural mix of religious arts of Buddhism, Hinduism and Jainism. 34 monasteries and temples sculpted contiguously into rock walls of a high basaltic cliff are seen along a length of 2 kilometers, dated to 600 to 1000 AD. They are a reflection of artistic creation of the ancient civilization of India. Number 3. Agra Fort The Agra Fort, also known as Red Fort of Agra, represents Mughal opulence and the power as the centerpiece of their empire. It was inscribed in UNESCO World Heritage List in 1982. The fortress is located on the right bank of Piramuna River built in red sandstone. They were built from the 16th century to 18th century. This corresponds to the Emperor Akbar's reign in 16th century to that of the Aurangzebs in the early part of 18th century. The impressive structures built within the prison of the fort are the Khas Mehel, the Shish Mehel, Diwane Am, Diwane Khas, and the Pearl Mosque, and also the Nagina Masjid. Number 4 Taj Mahal. It is one of the seven wonders of the world, a mausoleum, a funerary mosque. It was built by Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his wife Begum Mumtaz Mahal who died in 1631. It is a large edifice made in white marble in typical Mughal architecture. A style that combines elements from Persian, Islamic and Indian. Architectural styles this much acclaimed masterpiece was built over a 16 year period between 1631 to 1648 under the chief architect Ustad Ahmed Lahori, supported by several thousand artisans under the guidance of an imperial committee. It was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1983. Number 5. Sun Temple Konark The Konark Sun Temple is a 13th century Sun Temple which is also known as Black Pagoda at Konark in Odisha. Located on the east coast of Bay of Bengal in the Mahanadi Delta, it is built in the form of a chariot of Surya, the sun god with 24 wheels and is heavily decorated with the symbolic stone carvings and led by a team of 6 horses. It was constructed from the oxidizing weather ferruginous colored sandstone by King Narsimhadevta I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. 
The temple is one of the most renowned temples in India and is awarded its site inscribed in 1984 as a cultural property. Number 6. The Group of Temples at Mahabalipuram The Group of Temples at Mahabalipuram in Tamil Nadu, about 58 kilometers from Chennai, were built by the Pallava kings in the 7th and 8th centuries. The town has gained prominence under the rule of Mamala. These monuments have been carved out of the rock around the Coromandel coast. This temple town has approximately 40 monuments, including the largest open-air bas relief in the world. It was inscribed under the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1984 as a cultural heritage property. The monuments inscribed are the Roth Temples, temple in the form of chariot, mandapas, 11 cave sanctuaries covered with bas reliefs, rock relief of descent of the Ganges which is the largest open-air rock relief. Number 7. Kaziranga National Park Kaziranga, located in the northeastern state of Assam, the floodplains of Brahmaputra River, South Bank was declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985 for its unique natural environment. It was first established as a natural forest in 1908 to protect the dwindling numbers of rhinoceros. It underwent several transformation over the years as Kaziranga Game Century in 1916, renamed Kaziranga Wildlife Century in 1950, and declared a national park in 1974. The park, which covers an area of 42,996 hectares, has the distinct of being home to the world's largest population of the great Indian one-horned rhinoceros. There are many other mammals and birds species in the sanctuary. Number 8. Manas Wildlife Sanctuary The Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, located in the northeastern state of India, covers an area of 50,000 hectares in the plains of Manas River in the foothills of the Himalayas. It was inscribed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985 for its unique and natural environment. The sanctuary is the habitat of several species of plants, 21 most threatened species of mammals, 36 reptile species, 3 amphibians, 350 species of birds and much more. Endangered species include the tiger, the pygmy hawk, Clouded Leopard, Sloth Bear, Indian Rhinoceros, Wild Buffaloes, Indian Elephants, Golden Langur and Bengal Florican. Number 9. Keoladeo National Park The Keoladeo National Park in Bharatpur is located within the Indus Ganges Monsoon Forest Biogeographical Province. It extends over an area of 2,783 hectares. It was declared as National Park in 1982. It was also recorded as a Ramsar wetland site in 1981. It was inscribed by UNESCO World Heritage List in 1985 as a natural property. It is famous for 364 species of wintering birds that flock in large numbers arriving from distant countries of Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, China and Siberia. It is surrounded by 17 villages and Bharatpur city itself. Number 10. Churches and Convents of Goa These monuments were inscribed by UNESCO under the World Heritage List in 1986 as a cultural property which were built by the Portuguese colonial rulers of Goa between 16 and 18 centuries. These monuments are mainly in the former capital of Welha, Goa. The most significant of these monuments is the Basilica of Bomb Jesus, which enshrines the tomb containing the relics of Saint Francis Xavier. These monuments of Goa, known as the Rome of the Orient, were established by different Catholic religion orders from November 25, 1510 onwards.